All right, welcome to this week's version of the Coaches Show. We had a, a great uh, team victory over Amherst and the Coop yesterday, and here are the highlights. Uh, one of the keys to this game we had told our guys all week was gonna be red zone defense. We, we knew it was gonna be difficult to keep Amherst's offense contained with the good skill players that they had. But we thought if we could, when we got in the red zone, if we could hold them to field goals, it would be a big difference in the game. And This is early. The first quarter was basically played on our side of the 50 for the most part. And, um, and we were able to, to make some stops in the red zone. And on this situation right here, junior corner Matt Patrie is going to come off the edge and block the field goal to keep it to a 0-0 score. And this was a huge play in the game because as I just mentioned that the whole first quarter was basically played on this side of the field and it just felt like we were in an uphill battle and it was, you know, going to be one of those situations where eventually Amherst was going to take the lead. But we had worked on this during the week. We thought we could get to their punter and block a kick. And Matt McCarthy does a very good job right here getting off the ball getting past his man, uh, number 44 there, and getting eyes and hands on the block point. Big change of momentum right there, and uh, a huge field position swing. This is the very next play after that, after that blocked uh, punt. Seamus Lambert, uh, once again, starting at quarterback as a freshman for us here, is going to find uh, uh, Kobe in the zone over the middle of the field here. Good play, gets us down into the red zone. And a couple of plays later, we get them in a man-free situation. And we're gonna run a little inside fade here to Kobe. And off a of play action, perfectly, uh, perfectly thrown ball here by Sheamus in the back corner of the end zone. Kobe had a great game for us, as, as you'll see through this highlight film. And that got us a, off to a seven nothing start. We're in the second quarter now. We're gonna run a bootleg off of uh, an inside zone play here. And actually their, their D end, who's an outstanding player, uh, Andrew Yaman, kind of comes off the edge and reads it. And you're gonna see Seamus make a really good throw under pressure as he's getting tackled. He hits uh, Kobe on the sideline here. Big game for us on second and long. As we cross the 50, we go into a play action, four verticals out of this, uh, out of this 11 trips formation here. We take, take Joe Sandlin down the numbers and kind of get a two on one situation here against their safety. Good read by Sheamus, little underthrown, uh, but Kobe does a great job getting his hands underneath the ball there. Uh, after a holding call set us way back, created a, a third and long situation. Um, we take a one-on-one -on -one shot here. Again, you can see man coverage, and we get a one-on-one -on -one shot with Jonathan Girard here against their corner. Their, their kid's an excellent player. Uh, and we took this shot a few times in the game, and this was the only time that we came away with it, but it was a big one. Got us down inside the five and, uh, and led to the next touchdown. Unfortunately, we had the extra point block, so it's 13 to seven at that point. Big, big uh, turnover here. They had thrown zero interceptions coming into this game. Uh, we worked very hard on playing a lot of our, our zone coverages and trying to create some walls underneath and hoping that we could get a couple of mistakes, a couple tip balls. And here Dago Picanroro takes a, an interception down inside the 40. 
gave us great field position. As you can see, they had scored two and we had blocked their extra point. So it's 13 to 13. And coming off of that, uh, that interception from Dago, we got down inside the five. Really good run here by Max Chapuris. Excellent reach block here by Austin Biardi. And Max almost gets this one in the end zone. And uh, unfortunately, we got a little cute down here and, and made a couple calls that we wish we could have taken back and ended up getting a field goal block. So we went into halftime 13-13, felt like we op let an opportunity slip away there. But felt good to be tied uh, the way the game started. So in the second half now, um, huge fourth down play here. You know, obviously they've got good field position and they're going for it. We get some good pressure by Jimmy Cristiano, who had seven quarterback pressures and two sacks on this day. And a great job by Nick Rose coming off and getting a drive stop for us there. You can see we're backed up here second and 14 after a loss. And this is a big game for us. Max had a, a great game. Who was the NESCAC player of the year, uh, the week for this game, as well as uh, winner of the New England's Golden Helmet Award. Very prestigious award given out every week. This is a heck of a throw and a catch here by Seamus. Really good protection by the O-line. Good job by uh, Calvin Guillermo on their, on their best player. We've got a real good pocket here from Seamus. They're playing a, uh, a thirds type coverage to the field here. And so this safety's got to make a decision about taking Cinnamon or Schof. And Seamus puts a real good throw. Excellent catch by Schof. Unfortunately came down on his shoulder right there. And, that was his second touchdown catch of the game, but that was also his last play for the game. He was out, he wasn't able to return after that play. I mentioned Jimmy Cristiano earlier in the game. Here's a huge sack by him. We're up 20 to 13 in the third quarter here. This is a third down play. Big under move by him. And great pressure on the quarterback there. Our offense is back on the field up 20 to 13. We're gonna run a quarterback counter play. So off of the middle zone action to Max, we're gonna run Sheamus on a counter. You know, really good movement here by Alex Wukovitz. Great pole block by Austin Viardi in the hole. Sheamus makes one guy miss, gets a big gain, across the 50-yard line there. Very next play, you know, we gain eight yards here, but I put this on because I think this is where, in the second half, our O-line started to wear down their D-line. And in a tight, tight game like this, where both teams are very, very physical and playing real hard, I thought we were, we were able to get some very strong movement at the end of the third quarter and into the fourth quarter as you can see here. At that point, we kind of sensed that we had something going with the run game. This is one of the things that we've been most impressed about with Sheamus as a freshman quarterback is his decision making and his ability to, to make good decisions under pressure. We're in a third and 11 situation you can see Amherst is playing two man, so they're man underneath with two deep safeties. And there's not really anybody open, but uh, Sheamus is able to scramble here. And when a team's in man, there's nobody on the second level. And a huge play getting us down inside the 15 yard line. Unfortunately, we threw an interception there down by the goal line, so it's still 20 to 13 in the fourth quarter. 
and we had to make some big defensive stands here as Amherst crossed the 50-yard line a couple times. And th this is when you know the game's real physical when the corners are hitting as hard as this. Really big play by Ian McDonald. We're playing some cloud coverage here. Uh, so the corner is the force player. And this is just, Ian made some big physical plays in this game. This was a, a big time tackle on their quarterback. Huge play for us here. He mentioned before the red zone. This is a third down play. We're gonna bring some pressure, which leaves us on an island out here to the field. And Matt McCarthy does a great job playing flat-footed, and he's a little bit beat right here, but he works real hard to get back and gain his leverage on that receiver. Gets his left hand up on the ball. Huge play. That uh, led to them kicking a field goal, so now we're up 20 to 16. You know, still hanging on here. Amherst is about to cross the 50. And this, you know, as I mentioned last week, we've kind of gone to a four-man front because of the four people we have up here. Um, you know, Nick Rose and Corey Jean-Jacques are just really good football players for us. And then having Devin Perkins and Jimmy Cristiano on the field together, both coming off the edge. This is a, a play where you can see why we've kind of switched more to a four-man front. It basically got so much pressure on the quarterback, it's hard to step up and complete the ball. Big third down stop there. Now offensively, we, you know, we huddle up here on the sideline, we tell the offense, we gotta get two first downs here. They only have one timeout left. We got a man up here and be able to run the ball. This is a third and two play right here. We're backed up, huge play. We're gonna give the ball to Max on a middle zone. Again, very, very good reach block here by Austin Biardi. And a good job on the edge by Joe Salman, our B-back, here on their safety, who's come down as the support player. And this gives us the edge and gets us a big first down. So now the clock's been moving. They've used up their last time out. And uh, again, we're facing a third down. And uh, we're just huddled up on the sideline after their last time out. And we're going to give the ball to Max one more time. Same play, we just ran the last third down. And outstanding blocking on the play side. You can see the reach block by Austin. The reach block by the Matt, by Matt Evans at guard and Steve O'Reilly, the center, getting all the way around on the three technique. And then Joe Salman with Austin getting that end reach. Joe gets up on the free safety, takes him all the way out of bounds. And Max takes it the distance. Huge, huge play. Big celebration by our guys, a lot of fun right here. So, you know, Matt Hirschman, Sonny Puzo, Liam Keneally all down here helping us out by getting a 15 yard penalty for us. But we didn't mind it at that point, we're up two scores. And then this, this seals it now. So you can see we're up two scores, a little bit over two minutes left. We go into our nickel package here. We've got Cristiano and Perkins in a, in a three man front. And if you watch this pass rush move right here, this is the, the play that seals the game. Jimmy gets right past their tackle. Really good move. Gets a strip sack, recovered by Corey. Great, great win for our program against a very, very good Amherst team. That puts us in first place. And if we can finish things off here at Wesleyan this weekend, We'll, uh, we'll get the goal of our three-peat that we've been working on all year. So really proud of the way our players competed and excited to, uh, to get down to play in Middletown this weekend and hopefully finish this season off on a high note.